Hi and welcome to PeaceMag TV. In today's tutorial for Lightroom, we're going to be taking a look at how we can effectively sharpen our images. We're going to take a look at the settings, we're going to take a look at noise reduction and how that has an impact upon the end result that we get. So let's take a look at that with this image we've got on screen in front of us right now. So if we take a look at the image we've got open on screen, you can see that it's already quite sharp. But there's still room for improvement, especially if you're going to print out where over sharpening to what the screen sort of represents gives you a better end result when you come to printing out. So if we take a look at the develop module on the right hand side, we're already in the detail panel and you can see we have four options available to us under the sharpening section. The first is the amount of sharpening being applied. So we can go from zero, which has no sharpening being applied to it, right the way up to 150%, which as you can see gives a horrible end result. The next option we have available is the radius. And this is the number of pixels around the contrasting edges that will be sharpened. So we can take that down to be in half a pixel and we can take that right the way up to three pixels. Next up, we've got the detail. And finally, we've got the masking option, which specifies exactly what is going to be enhanced, what edges, what contrasting edges are gonna have the actual sharpening applied to it. Now, we can switch these into different modes as well. So if we take a look at the masking, for example, if I hold the Alt key down on the keyboard, as I move that over, you can see we now start to get a representation of what's going to be sharpened in the image. So you can see that the black areas are going to be left untouched, whereas the white edges, which are the higher contrast areas between the two tones, that's the areas going to have the sharpening applied. So what we do with this is we use this to go through and find out if we've got any of that noise detail, if we've got things we don't want to sharpen in there, we can use this masking option to reduce the amount of edges that have been sharpened and therefore end up with a nicer end result. So we'll take a look at using that in a moment and we'll see how that actually works. And underneath that, we've got the noise reduction section and we'll take a look at using that to compensate for any issues we get from sharpening. If we take a look at the image around the eyes, you can see we've got these darker tones. We've got a little sort of speckle effect. And while that's not necessarily bad noise, it's a luminance noise, which is giving a, an effect that once we start to sharpen, that will be picked up. So like I say, we'll use the, the, the noise reduction, the luminous noise reduction to deal with that in a moment. So let's take a look at the sharpening. So let's go through that alternative mode with each of the four different settings and see how that impacts upon what we're doing. So I'm just holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and as I move the amount over, you can see we now switch to black and white mode so the color's not going to be used to distract us. And we can slide that over and we can see the overall effect of the sharpening being applied to the image. And as we go further over to the right hand side with more sharpness being applied to it, you can see we start to get quite a nasty effect. So what we can do is we can use the radius and the detail commands to control that. But before we do that, let's reset that back, hold the Alt key down again, and use the radius slider. Now, if you ever use Photoshop and you use the unsharp mask, then this view is going to be quite familiar to you. And as you can see, as we move it over, we start to get more definition between the edges as we increase the amount of pixels that are going to be sharpened. So you can see as we get closer to the, the three pixels, we start to get quite a considerable amount of sharpening being applied to that over a larger area around the contrasting edges. So again, we'll reset that. And finally, we've got the detail option. As you can see, we get an unsharp mask kind of effect again. But if we take a look, this is going to show us more to do with the amount of noise that's being picked up. So you see, as I move over to the right hand side, if you look at the gray areas, there's a lot more speckle kind of effect to it. And that's the amount of detail that's going to be picked up in the sharpening process. So we can use this to control and sort of make sure that we don't end up with horrible speckles all over it. As you can see, we get a more noisy looking image there. So let's reset that one. And let's take a look at how we can go through and sharpen this image effectively and then deal with that noise. So the first thing I do whenever I'm applying sharpening to an image using Lightroom is I use the masking control in the alternative mode so I can specify, I can take a look at exactly what's going to be affected and I can control the amount that's going to be applied, the amount of sharpening. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down. I'm going to drag this over. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that the areas that have no real detail in them, sort of the cheeks and above the eyes and things like that, that we avoid picking up any sharpening inside those areas. So I effectively want those to be as black as possible while still retaining the edges that I want to sharpen. So this is a good starting point. 
As with everything inside Lightroom, we've got completely non-destructive edits so I can tweak any of these settings at any point to ensure that I get the best representation of the sharpened image. So now I'll start to apply my sharpening until I get to a decent value. And I start to see the image sharpening up nicely. So if we do, we switch the sharpening on and off, we'll see the differences. Okay, so we start to see some more detail, but we are noticing that horrible effect that we're getting around the eyes and inside the mouth. If you take a look where the teeth are, the kind of scary teeth, you can see we start to get this horrible painterly kind of effect in there. So let's use the detail slider so we can overemphasize that so you can see what I'm referring to. So pay attention to the eyes, any of the dark creases around the edge of the lips and inside the teeth. As I increase this, we're going to start to see considerably more of this weird kind of grain effect being applied in this. So if we take a look around the eyes and things now, you can see we quite a horrible effect. So what we can do is we can reduce the amount of detail that is being affected, and we can bring that down until we offset a good portion of that so we get a better end result. And again, let's do the before and after. So we just enable and disable. So we're starting to sharpen those details up more. Now, what I can do is I can use the luminance noise reduction now, and I can increase that to smooth out these areas. So you can see now we get a much better, smoother skin tone, and I can now increase the detail. And we can balance those off against each other to make sure that we end up with a nice, sharp end result without that horrible effect being applied in those areas that we just discussed. If I increase the radius, we're going to see we get additional sharpening applied to it. But we need to be careful with that. Generally recommend staying at around one pixel. You can push it up further, but like you say, you've got a sharper image, but then you also start to get that problem with the noise effect coming in there. So be careful with the radius. Set it around the one, maybe go a little bit higher if you need to. So again, let's do a before and after. There's the before. There's the after. So you can see we've sharpened up quite nicely and we've dealt with a lot of those horrible artifacts that we picked up from the sharpening process. Now on close inspection, I can see I still have a little bit of that horrible artifact. I don't want to push the luminance too far on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the detail back down ever so slightly, take that around probably about, about seven or eight. We'll try that. And that should now get rid of that in there. And we can compare the sharpened version with the unsharpened version. So like I say, it is effectively a balancing act between the different settings to make sure you end up with a nice combination of a sharp image while avoiding all that horrible noise. So like I say, there's the before, there's the after. So we've already got a really good end result. So finally, we can use the masking option. So if we want to increase that sharpness, we can start to reduce the amount of masking and that's gonna end up bringing more of the overall contrasting edges into focus. And that's our starting point. And if you take a look at the eyes and around the mouth, you'll see the detail pop back out. And there's after. So like I say, the image already started off being quite sharp, but with some quick tweaks, we can make it even sharper and just pull out the last little bit of detail that we have available to us in our photographs. Well, I hope you found this useful. I hope it's something you can apply to the, the editing that you would do it in Lightroom. If you did find it useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we released on the Kindle store. Eight Essential Adobe Lightroom Techniques, where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. The link is in the description below, and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.